Hi, welcome to our first REP tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to give you an overview of our RNA seq pipeline web tool REP. You know that our web tool allows to submit a full RNA seq analysis from raw data, usually FASCUs, to final results such as differential gene expression, fusion transcripts, differential polyase, and so on. All the analysis jobs are submitted from the BOEM interface to high performance computing cluster. And all this process happens in the background, so the user can monitor every analysis step from the application too. Once the analysis is over, results can be visualized through the web interface or downloaded for further inspection. But now let's peek inside the application. As you probably know, you need to be registered in order to use RAP. And you can ask to be registered with our register form. After logging in, we, we can go to the, our studies section. All the studies are, are listed. And a study is like a project where you have all the information about your samples and analysis. And here you can see some public projects where free to access data has been downloaded and analyzed to compare the final results with the ones in scientific press. But um, let's create a new project. I don't know, call it. We can make this project private just for ourselves, uh, to our group, or totally accessible for every user on the pipeline. Okay, so let's get inside the study. And here you can see that you haven't uploaded any files yet. And of course we have to, so we can start a, a sample analysis. So let's click on the upload files button. The rep tool gives several possibilities to upload your files. You can use our web upload form, but of course you should have a high performance internet connection in order to complete the upload during an acceptable time. Or you can enter the URL of a file accessible from the web or even a drop of the blocks linked. And we're gonna implement the FTP connection very soon. So I'm going to show you an example of the web upload and just browse through my files and I have here two sample fastqs. I can open them and once I selected them I have to click on the start upload button. Uh, in this case I have two really tiny fastq files and, but in real life and this step can, can require some, some minutes with a slower connection so we just have to wait. So here we are, our upload process is completed and we just have to click on the continue button when we're going to land to the reorder lane section. In this step we don't have any paired end lanes so we don't need any reordering but we can pair to paired end files like this is easily enough hmm? just by dragging the blue element on the same lane. Here we have two single end file on different lanes so just gonna stick with this configuration. And the next step, we click on the continue button, is the metadata assignment. We can uh, just limit ourselves to give a name to the files. It's like uh, um, control or treated sample or treated four hours. Or we can assign uh, samples and run information to, to each of our files. We can just have to add a sample with all the information required, save it, and then select it from the sample select element. So if we are happy like this, we can go on. And you can see now that our temporary files have been stored. And we can just go back on the study page section. So here we have two files and we can start an analysis. We just select them, they're already selected. We can select them again. And we can design new analysis with selected files button. So we just give it a name or analysis first test. And we choose the standard RNA seq pipeline. Here we are, this is the pipeline parameters section. So here we can select the parameters for your analysis. We can select HD19 
for our databases and we can skip the optional steps of the pipeline. For the rest, I'm gonna just safely leave the, the defaults, um, the defaults parameters. Uh, every single parameter is descriptive here the left of the right side, sorry. And if you need further information on these parameters, just um, you just can find it in the specific software websites that are used uh, along the pipe, or you can check out our paper. So we click on the start analysis button and our analysis has been successfully created. Click on the go analysis. So here is the monitor page where every single step is described with its own status. And what happens is that uh, every step is gonna be colored in appropriate color to show the status of the step it can be uh, skipped in gray or error in red. And when a single step is completed, it's gonna be it's gonna be green. It's gonna be green. So let's check out uh, a complete analysis in our public studies, so we can see how it actually looks like. Let's check this body map tissues. Well, here we have a lot of files and we're gonna click to the enable download button because we, when we have a lot of samples for performances issues, the download option has been, been uh, disabled. We can re-enable it. Okay, so here we have, as I was saying, all the steps and they're all being completed and you can click on the view results page, result button. So here you have all the steps, they have been completed, they're all green, uh, except the skipped ones. And you can click on the view results button where you can download the intermediate files. So here, clicking here, gonna go on the uh, quality checks, or I can click on the top folder to download the, the BAM files if I need to do a further inspection by myself. But we're gonna see more on this on the tutorial about the result sections. So here you have your input files, uh, all the parameters that you used. So from here, you can restart an analysis by clicking on the new analysis from this step button. And you can just change the parameters from that point onwards. Uh, so if you can, if you want to do further testing or your, or your analysis, so, uh, our first tutorial is over and our next tutorial will cover the results section. Please send us your comments from the feedback section and thanks for watching.